Hi everyone, happy Friday or Ureshi Kenyobi for those of you in Japan. Thank you so much for watching. As I mentioned in my channel trailer, my first videos are going to be a series about the biggest overall contributors I've found so far to improving the quality of my life. And for my very first YouTube video, I thought I would start with the biggest contributor, which is calisthenics. And for those of you who aren't familiar with calisthenics, it is essentially body weight training. Calisthenics has allowed me to go from this, back when I was living in New York City, to this much more recently, becoming the leanest I've ever been, and the best part is, even without going to the gym. I'll explain how, even with the gym closed during the corona lockdowns, I was able to get into the best shape of my life by working out mostly in my apartment or in the park without any equipment. So in this video, I'm going to break down first what were my biggest misconceptions I had about fitness, namely that going to the gym and progressively lifting heavier and heavier weights was the only way to get my ideal body type. Second, I'm going to give a quick overview of calisthenics for those of you who aren't familiar with it. And ladies, please don't think this is only for the men. I think calisthenics has the exact same benefits for women. In fact, it could be even more beneficial because often women are going for a lean, low body fat physique while balancing a busy work or family schedule, which is exactly what calisthenics is best at. Third, I will explain why I think calisthenics is superior to body weight training or at the very least should be included in your workout regimen. And finally, I will break down my own calisthenics journey, allowing you to learn from my two, three years of trial and error so you can essentially have the same results that I've experienced in a much shorter timeline. I will talk about things like what types of calisthenics I found the most useful, who are the people in the space that I believe have the best programs, both paid and free, what are the mistakes I made, how long it took me to see results, what are the exercises I do, how often do I do it every month, and how essential it was for me to include HIIT training into my calisthenics program. And for those of you who aren't familiar with HIIT training, I think this will also be really helpful. So just before we start, please, please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share on your social channels, because what I'm trying to do is create a community of like-minded people who are also interested in being a better person. So also please leave comments below and possibly share things that you've learned about this topic so we can learn from each other. So the biggest misconception I had about fitness was the only way to get in shape was to go to the gym and lift heavy weights. Now I also needed to balance this with some cardio, for example running. So especially after a heavy night of drinking, I would go for a run to hashtag get the evil out. And of course I needed to balance that with a healthy diet, so I couldn't eat burgers and french fries every day. But actually my next video is gonna be about how wrong I was, what constitutes a good diet. But to stick to the fitness element now, I thought that going to the gym as many times as I could every week, progressively trying to increase the amount of weight I was lifting was the only way to get my idea body type. And of course, I would feel guilty every day I wasn't going to the gym and beat myself up about it. And then even the days I went to the gym, I would worry about whether I was doing the right exercises, what was holding me back, why was I not getting into the shape that I wanted. And I did this for decades, going to the gym two, three times a week, normally running on the weekends to get the evil out, but still, I never got into the shape I wanted to be in. Now here, I think it's important to note that it depends on what type of body you're going for. And because it would be difficult or even dangerous for me to comment on the body that most women are trying to go for, I'm going to stick to the men. And for men, I think most men, and myself included, were simply trying to look good with a shirt off or at the beach. I wasn't trying to be Conan the Barbarian or Aquaman. I was going for more of a lean body, like Brad Pitt from Fight Club or Tom Cruise in Top Gun playing volleyball on the beach with a shirt off as you do. So if you're trying to be a linebacker for the Green Bay Packers, then calisthenics is probably not for you. But if you're trying to improve your physique while also balancing a busy schedule, then I have good news for you. I think that calisthenics is going to get you into the best shape of your life. So for those of you who are not aware, calisthenics is essentially the practice of using your own body weight to train yourself. Now there's lots of different forms of calisthenics, but I'm going to focus on strength-based training exercises. Exercises like push-ups, pull-ups, handstands, muscle-ups, L-sits, and for you superhumans out there, human flags, planches, and front levers, which I definitely cannot do. Now before I get into the calisthenics, I also wanted to explain how I got into calisthenics because I think people can learn from the mistakes I made at the gym. I got into going to the gym in college, and for the next 15 years, I followed that negative reinforcing cycle I explained earlier, until one day, trying to lift even heavier weights, I herniated a disc in my back. Now this happened even though I did everything I thought I could to prevent it, 
For example, I didn't even do deadlifting for over 10 years because I knew it was an exercise you could easily hurt yourself on. I also hired a trainer to teach me the right form. I started out with really light weights, but as my unhappiness grew and my inability to get into my ideal shape, so did the amount of weight. Until one day, going for a personal record, I arched my back a little too much and felt a disc slip. This started a two year period of constant daily back pain. And for anybody who's ever had daily pain, you know how horrible this is. Simply staying positive is a real struggle. Just standing on the subway for 30 minutes on my way to a meeting in the morning became a mood crushing experience. When I went to the doctor to see what treatment could be had and he told me that I needed surgery, I thought that was pretty extreme for someone in his early 30s. So I did my own research and I found out that having a super strong core is one of the best ways to reduce back pain. And this is where Calisthenics entered my life. I started by, as you probably already guessed, watching a bunch of YouTube videos. There are many calisthenics influencers and teachers on YouTube, and I've watched them all. I would say that Athlean X and Chris Heria, who is a Miami-based fitness instructor, are the best. But I like Heria the most because of his app. But if you want to get into calisthenics, I think YouTube's a great place to start. Just try some programs and see if you like them. I'll leave some links in the description below of some of the workouts I like. But I do like Haria's app, which is called Haria Pro, because it allows you to build custom workouts depending on what part of the body you want to work, also what exercises you like, and also each exercise has a three to five second video to show you the right form. Because if you don't have the right form, just like lifting weights, you can hurt yourself. Now when I started calisthenics, I did one workout, the exact same workout, three times a week for three sets, this one. And in the beginning, this was a very humbling experience because it totally killed me, even though I had been going to the gym for over 15 years. I would say it took me about three, four months to see good results and also build up my stamina to be able to complete this workout for three sets with a two, three minute break in between. Now this first workout taught me two things that I also think were really important to getting into the best shape of my life. The first was HIT training, which is high intensity interval training. Now this could be a whole nother video in itself, but essentially the purpose of HIIT training is to always keep your heart elevated. This has enormous benefits because you will burn more calories, your workout will be shorter, and you will burn more calories through the remainder of your day. I think combining HIIT training with calisthenics has really been the difference maker for me. Now the second thing that I learned that was really eye-opening was that I didn't have to worry about which exercises I was doing. I could do the exact same workout and as long as I stuck with it, I would see the results that I wanted. So for those of you who are trying to get lean or lose some body fat, all you have to do is find a calisthenics program you like and stick with it for a couple months. The main benefits for calisthenics for me are, first, you don't need as much time. I used to go to the gym for about an hour, hour and a half. Now my workouts are down to about 30, 45 minutes. Second, you can do it from anywhere with zero to minimal equipment, so you don't even need to go to the gym. Third, many of the exercises are compound exercises. So you are working out a lot more of your body at the same time. And finally, I think there's a much lower chance of injury because by not lifting these heavy weights, you reduce the probability of hurting yourself. But of course, proper form is very important for calisthenics as well, which leads me right into my next point. Now, a couple caveats to calisthenics before you jump in. And the first one is to have proper form. Take your time and please watch the videos to get the right form or you can hurt yourself. Because I was trying to get better at archer push-ups and I didn't have the right form and I got a crick in my neck for almost a month. So don't do that. The second thing is you need to be prepared to fail and have patience. You have to have the right mindset. When you fail, that's a good thing because you're pushing your body out of your comfort zone. Please don't think, damn, I'm so weak, I can't even do 20 push-ups. Because it will take months for you to get better at some of these exercises, so you need to enjoy the failing. And in terms of how I branched out from there into calisthenics, my approach was simple. Basically, I found exercises that were difficult and I did them until I mastered them or I had the endurance to include them in one of my workouts. Now I do calisthenics about four or five times a week for about 30 to 45 minutes in my apartment. And for me, the best combination is to combine a strength trained exercise with an ab exercise in the middle. So for example, here is one of my favorite exercises that focuses on chest and shoulders and has an ab exercise in the middle. This allows me to rest the muscles I'm trying to get stronger while the ab exercise keeps my heart rate up to achieve the HIIT training that I'm looking for. If you are interested in learning more about my calisthenics journey, 
please feel free to leave comments below or message me directly. I'd be more than happy to share more information and some more of the custom workouts that I've built. So thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, or share on your social channels. And for my next video, I'm going to focus on the second most transformational thing that I've found to improving the quality of my life, and that is improving my mindset. I think working on the quality of your thoughts can have enormous benefits to your overall health. Thank you so much for watching.